Simon, a fantastic result tonight. Bouncing straight back from Alfreton, is that something that you were looking to do? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and in the first half, it, it wasn't looking too good, was it? Um, but the lads reacted uh, from half time and uh, from that first half display and, and put in a, a really good, resounding performance in the second half and thoroughly deserved the win in the end. Just on that first half, from the kickoff, we were turned round. Is that a decision that, that we made for the conditions or was it a, a decision that Staley Bridge, I know it obviously put our fans in the cop in the first half, which was a bit unique for tonight. I wasn't too disappointed because it's been uh, it's been vice versa really, hasn't it? You know, Normally we're kicking towards the cop in the second half and, and we've been poor in second halves uh, this season for some strange reason. But today it was it was total opposite. We were, we were shocking first half. Um, it was like a hot potato out there. People looked under pressure uh, and looked apprehensive. Um, but and people can misconstrue that and think, come on, you know, we're not putting any effort in, and that's fair play. People pay the money to watch. We just hadn't turned up. Second half was better. Well, if there's if there's one man that you want to be able to bring on from the bench when the situation's like that, it's Andy Thanodge. And I think when he came on again, he just showed his class, wanted the ball, and then obviously popped up with a a fantastic goal as well. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a good stage for him. I think the club is. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm proud of the pitch that's down there. Um, it's made for a playmaker to grab it, but you can't be a quiet playmaker. You've got to demand the ball, you've got to get people buzzing on it, uh, and you've got to demand from others to get the best out of yourself. And, and he did just that, and what a great strike as well, so I was well pleased for him. I think Andy coming on, it, it lifted the performance of a lot of the lads. JP and Dom looked fantastic in the second half, I thought, and obviously both got on the score sheet again with two equally impressive strikes. How, how good is it to have that sort of firepower on your side? Well, they, they look like league. Football League centre forward second half, um, and I challenged them at half time because I thought, yeah, it, it turned into a long ball affair. But you can't just go, well, it's long ball and that's it. Then I'm not getting good service. You, you've got to fight for the right at times. At times it will be ugly, but it wasn't second half. I thought the tempo and the work rate of everyone was so much better, and we were passing the ball within the perimeter of the pitch as well, which which helped. But I thought some of the moves, pass and moves, uh, some of the. Um, the movement played from between the forwards um, and the midfielders and the fullbacks joining in. It was really good on the eye and entertaining, and, and that's what I wanted. I thought that's what all the coaching team wanted. The second half, you'd rather lose. I would have rather l lost the game three 0 uh, trying to play in that manner and, and showing your enthusiasm to the fans than putting a drab performance and lose one nil or two nil in, in their overall game. Well, of course, late on in the game as well, we saw the introduction of Chib and, and Jordan came on. Shows the depth in the squad, something that I guess you'll be looking to use when we go to Bridlington next weekend. Yeah, it was important, important for me to get those two on, back on the pitch um, because I did give people a bit of stick after the Alfredton game. I, I didn't think people really uh, turned up and uh, put in a passionate display on Saturday and, and that goes for the, the whole squad, pro probably bar three, like I mentioned after the game. Um, we've got a terrific squad of ability, uh, but you're only as good as the attitude you put in. And second half, it was a resounding attitude, it was a resilient one and and uh, they had no answer for it. Um, the tempo we played at was very hot, and yet we kept the composure, which, which created the openings. Well, Simon, congratulations. It's a fantastic result, and we'll head to Bridlington on Saturday.